Let's compare four different AI tools that can turn a 3D model into MacWeight renders in just a few seconds. MacWeight is a style of creating physical models and with the software available today, we'll be able to create 3D visualizations in this specific style. The process involves 3D modeling, adding textures and rendering them in V-Ray, Corona or DeFi Render. But with the game-changing AI tools available today, we'll be able to create renderings in this specific style in just a few seconds. So let's jump into four different AI tools to do this and compare the results. I'm Salman, an architect and illustrator. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. So let's get started. Firstly, we'll have to make a few adjustments in the 3D model for the best results in AI. This is a project called Villa Garton and it's a proposal by Richard Mayers and partners. I've downloaded the model from the warehouse. As you can see, it already looks detailed and we don't have to make too many changes here. But what I've done here is that I've added a few trees along the boundary and at the sides. I've also added a car and a few furniture on the deck space. The purpose of doing this is to make AI understand that this is going to be a landscape area and this as a deck space. We can also see how AI renders the car. A few silhouettes of human figures are added around the model and with that I've set a view to take a screenshot. The first tool we'll be using today is called Prom AI. This is a paid platform that comes to $19 a month but if you use the link in the description, you'll be able to get free coins that you can use for creating renders. Once you log into Chrome AI, head over to the AI tools on the top left. Under this, you'll see an option called Consistency Render. Now, as the name suggests, we'll be able to create consistent renders from any of the styles that we see on the screen right now. These can be used for architecture, interior, graphics, illustrations, and many more. Here, we already have a MacWet option that we can use to create our rendering. Click Remix to select the model. Let's begin by closing the existing prompt on the top left and add the screenshot of our model. We can add a short description like modern villa and also choose a ratio that we prefer. To generate and in just about 20 to 30 seconds, we will have the MacWet render. Prom AI has done a really good job and it has retained all the major forms and volume of the structure. I'm currently using a free plan, so I'll only be able to download a low quality of this image. But with the paid plan, we'll be able to download this image in a very high quality. I really like the consistency of the elements or the build form and the design. The second tool is called Rende. This is a powerful AI platform and we made a dedicated video of this platform on our channel. This comes with a paid subscription as well, but you can use the coupon code SALMAN10 to avail 10% off for your subscription. So let's check out how to create MacWeight renders using this platform. Once you log into the Rende platform, we'll have to choose a 3D base to render option. This is located in the Create section. Under this, we have the option to choose the render style, whether it's going to be realistic, artistic and so on. Let's choose exterior and upload the screenshot that we took. We'll have to describe the scene and this is a very important process in this platform. I'm giving the right keywords such as architectural MacWit physical model and I'm also describing the lighting and the background style. Set the creativity to a very low number because we don't want AI to make too many changes in the design. We'll also need to add a reference image and this is an image that I downloaded of a MacWit model from Pinterest. You can choose any image as a reference as per your preference. The strength of the reference can be maximum and hit generate to create the render. Here's the result and the quality of the AI image is exceptional. The platform has made some minor changes in the model, but in terms of the lighting, quality and the textures, this is a really good output. The background looks slightly clumsy, but we can always make corrections in Photoshop. It has slightly messed up the human figures, but we can forgive that considering the scale of the figures were too small. This is currently in a 4K resolution and will be able to download it with a pro account. Number 3 is Air for SketchUp. This is not a separate platform but a plugin that you can use within SketchUp, Revit, or Rhino. This platform starts at $199 for 3 months. I have the Air plugin installed in SketchUp, and once you open it, you'll have to log in using your account. We can upload the screenshot image right here, and as you scroll between different styles inside this column, you will see the MacWit options on the bottom. There are different styles of MacWit to choose from. Let's pick this, head over to Create, and let's adjust the settings. Let's choose Log Style and Log Massing. Keep Materials can be turned off and let's click Create. In about 30 seconds, we have the results. The result is quite different from the screenshot that we provided, but it definitely looks artistic. This platform has finally retained a swimming pool on the screenshot, but it has changed a lot of elements in the design. This can definitely be used in the conceptual stage of design, but not as a final design. We'll be able to upscale this image and download, and the quality of the image looks par with the other tools that we saw. Number 4 is Archivancy. 
this platform is extremely simple, allowing anyone to get started easily. The pricing starts at $50 a month for unlimited access. This is what the homepage of our KVNC looks like and we can log in from the option on top. There are multiple model styles to choose from and for the macOS render, we have to choose the style match. Let's upload the screenshot in the input image. The similarity level can be at the lowest and let's upload the reference image that we downloaded from Pinterest. The style impact can be high and let's choose the type of building. The prompt can have basic keywords similar to what we used previously. Choose between fast and best quality and hit generate. This takes about 30 seconds and we can upscale it to 4 times. The results of this platform were surprisingly good. Archivinci has retained most of the volume and the textures and render quality is quite amazing. Of course, it has some flaws in rendering and some small elements, but that can be forgiven considering the overall quality. The background also looks realistic from what we've seen earlier. And moreover, this actually looks like a real photograph taken of a physical model. So here's a comparison of the resins from all these four different platforms. Let me know in the comments which of these you like the most. The link to all of these platforms are provided in the description. So that was it from this video. I hope you found this to be helpful. And if you did, please hit that like button and share this with your friends. You can follow me on Instagram and the handle is right here. I'll see you on the next one.